are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization was inhospitable rock. That's going to take you literally years to finish. Leave it be. Now, though, I could potentially colonize Sirius. Well, its habitability has gone down from 80% to 70%. And this is another of those things I've m mentioned a few times. Both to people I know and to Paradox on the forums. That when you get stuff like the dangerous wildlife modifiers on planet, what I would really like is if when you when you finally remove the tile blockers from the planet's surface, that that would get rid of the modifier and make the planet more habitable and stuff. Because you would remove them. Since it seems like that modifier is coming from those being there. Yet, the last time I tried this, when you clear them both, the modifier stays. I really think it should go away if the planetary conditions that are causing it are gone. That would just seem to make more sense, honestly. But Tritonus is still being colonized. That will be finished in about five months. Spurious Quirinius is now level four. And we're working on a couple of analyses of the stars over here, along with everything else. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Research into blue lasers is done. I'll be upgrading my fleet then to have blue pew pews. Next thing to do, I think, it's either fusion reactors or physics research. I think I'm going to go with fusion reactors. Just because having better reactors is going to prove more and more essential as time goes on. Since I'll be unlocking more weapons and tech and research things that will require more power. So I need the better reactors to be able to mount those onto my ships. Construction complete. Terra is finished with that. So we're back to where we were before with jobs, essentially. Excellent. Now, though, let's head over to our ship designer. And switch these up from red to blue lasers. Or I would, but that would put our power in the negative. I could always throw down a reactor booster, and that'll have to do for now. At least until we get the better reactors researched, which is going to take at least a few years. So there we go. And my fleet can now get an upgrade. Once we get enough minerals saved up, because I'm not going to be able completed. to upgrade all of them at this time, because we need a few more... Sorry, minerals? I mean alloys. We're going to need a few al more alloys than what we currently have. Our science ship is also heading into there, which I remember right is where those religious fanatics are currently hanging out. A new world has been secured for our colonists. Tritonus has also been fully colonized. Meaning more income, yay. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with Tritonus. It has a lot of city district space. Not so much for the other base stuff. 
So I might actually make this in. I haven't decided yet, but Tritonus. It's a reasonably sized world at fifteen. I might might make it an industrial or research world. I haven't made up my mind yet. If you have any thoughts on that, please let me know. I'm always open to your suggestions. We finished our research in to standardized Corvette patterns also. So our Corvettes will be faster and cheaper to build by a little bit. Now, what next for our research? Strike craft or robots? Hmm. At the moment, I don't really have any particular desire or inclination to build robots. If there were a lot of planets nearby that were really good, but too low habitability for me to colonize successfully, then getting my robots up to droids and being able to colonize with robots would be handy, but at the moment I don't think so. I'm actually going to go with basic strike craft, I think. That's more of a long-term thing, because once we get to the point of having cruisers and then battleships, I'd like to be able to create carriers. Construction complete. It's mostly to test something out. The last time... Construction complete. The last time that I was able to use carriers... Or that I actually bothered to make use of them, uh, rather... Construction complete. They were actually kind of broken. Now, what do I mean by they were broken? Well... The long and short of it is that carriers at that point in time, which was sometime in between Apocalypse and 2.1, honestly, we've encountered a fleet loyal to the Great Disciples. This time, their numbers include a strange ship of an unfamiliar design. Science ship reports enemy contact. Please run away. Thank you for succeeding at running away. But yes, their fleet had a battleship in it this time. Now... Get me... A bit more in the way of alloys. Hopefully get their upgrades ticking along again. Excellent. That should finish shortly. Ships refitted. Mm-hmm. We're now done making upgrades to the fleet. Though it can still afford to have two more ships in it before it's at full strength. We're now at 816 strength. So, this fleet is going to head off here and engage the cultists now. It's time for us to actually have a bit of combat in this series. That'll be a novel thing, won't it? Now, hmm. I could colonize Sirius. Colonize that tiny Gaia world. Just keep grabbing more systems. Let's see. I need to get myself 200 alloys to be able to build a colony ship to Sirius. might hold off on that for the time being. Just keep pushing. For now, the fleet. K. 
can just keep at its business. I think that should be easy enough. And I didn't catch this at the time, but our station on the border with the corporate holdings has finished. I'm going to give it first two gun batteries. Then they can have a target uplink computer once I have the alloys to be able to have better range. I am going to fortify this system up as much as I can. And once the tech becomes available, I will rush the technology that gives all of my planets and stations FTL inhibitors. Special project complete. We're not gonna let these guys into our space without them actually taking down that system. The M-Class star has been studied now, and it's old and the fusion processes in its core have slowed down. It's allowed us to fly up much closer and study the fusion in greater detail. Tech progress on fusion power pushed forward by 50%, which has massively decreased the amount of time it's going to take us to get fusion reactors. Before it was about a hundred months. Now it's only a forty some. That is just excellent. It is just truly, truly I'm excellent. Really Another precursor civilization. Again, leave it. That's too hard for you to actually pull off successfully. But wow, that's three anomalies within the same star system. Impressive. And I think two of them were precursors, complete. actually. Which is just cool. Now this fleet is moving in towards taking out those guys. We're inevitably going to take some losses taking on a battleship with corvettes, but I'm hoping we can still win it. I imagine that we can. We still have 18 ships, well, they have only three or four, so we'll win through numerical superiority, if nothing else, to be honest. And the first gun battery, on four station is done, bringing it up from about 500 strength to just shy of 780. No, oh, Elysium has a pop on there now. Let's get them another agricultural district. That is going to be my farming world, I think. So we'll stick with that. Actually, once the second agricultural district turns up, I'm probably going to actually give that the agriculture world designation and make it official. Fleet action underway. Oh yes, and we immediately engage the moment we enter the system. System reconnaissance completed. Two of their corvettes are down already. Nice. Now, turn off the UI. I want to watch this up close and personal. I, I just love... We'll get back to that. A class star has been studied. They'll probably burn out in a few million years, as the fusion process in its core is extremely fast. During the examination, the science officer... Notice that onboard solar collectors generate 150% of the normal amount of energy. Wouldn't be surprising considering the radiation, but it's interesting that they didn't melt. Yes, I think I'll be having that energy, actually. 
Now, as I was saying, we're just gonna turn off the UI and watch this battle. I just love the up close cinematic nature of these battles that you get. It's just awesome. It really is just so cool. And now, every ship outside of their battleship has gone down. So our fleet can just tear into it. Just watch this. It's so epic. And we have won. We defeated the cultist forces encountered so far. But these engagements have raised a number of alarming questions. The Great Disciples have been deploying far more ships than they could possibly have built in secret on Terra. Now they've pitted a large warship of an unknown design against us. Where are these ships coming from? Are there more warships like the one we just destroyed? We should investigate the battle debris for answers. Our fleet took a bit of damage, but no actual casualties. So we'll send it home to the soul system. You build an outpost there. And I think we're actually going to hold off on investigating that last special project. Uh, my science ship. Wait a second. One sitting over in Terra that I had assigned to this route. It'll take them ever so slightly longer to get there than these guys, but oh well. And now we'll do that. And yeah, that's actually a really good question. Where did these cultists get all their ships from? I mean, it's not like they're just pulling warships out of a hat. At least I should bloody hope not. But what I'm going to do next, though, is I need a sh I need another starbase located in the core of my space, effectively to act as my primary shipyard. Soul on its own isn't going to do it, so I'm going to base that actually in, in the Sirius system, but I'll have to wait until I have the alloys to build it. I could just sell some stuff, but at the moment, I think we just want to let our resources tick up a bit. I will sell some things, but not on absolutely every occasion without fail. Construction complete. And the forest station is now at a strength of 1,000. For early game stuff, that's quite difficult to get through. So the corporate holdings are going to have some problems breaking through our border defenses. That much is certain, I think. Very, very certain. We've got our science ship on the way to investigate that. 
and progress the Construction complete. second stage of this religious, what shall we call it, chain. While I'm at it though, I'll build some mining stations. And we are once again starting to go over our cap for administrative capacity, but to be perfectly honest, with the way I play, I expect to go over my administrative cap quite a lot. It's just the way things go. And all that I really have to want to do about that is make sure that when I go over it, I plan for that so that I have enough resources and things in place that it's not as much of a problem as it would otherwise be. There's some energy. Construction complete. Elysium. I just got its second farming district up and running. And congratulations. And Elysium. You are no longer a colony. You are now officially an angry world. You'll be producing most of our empire's food in the immediate future, I think. Our science ship over here can get started on some new exploration bits, though. Well, this science ship gets over there, checks out the debris left behind by those cultists. Alien writing. Over in the Alpha Centauri system. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Alpha Centauri 1. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Very interesting indeed. Though, that's one of those stories that... Whenever it turns up in my games, which is basically every single damn game, whenever it does turn up, I always find myself wishing that there was a bit more to it. Maybe a bit of flavor text telling us exactly what the story was, or maybe even something later on when you find the body of the mercenary in question in cryostasis, and you can then recruit him as a general in your army. That would be something that would be really cool. <clears throat> You find this story, then you get given some coordinates somewhere in the galaxy. You go there and you find the exact mercenary described in this story in cryostasis. If you have the technology prerequisites you need to res uh, resuscitate him successfully, and maybe a bit of a dice roll to see if you succeed or fail, then you can recruit him and have him serve as a general or admiral in your army or navy. I just think that would be so cool if you could do something like that. But maybe that's just me. Maybe everyone else is perfectly content with the way it works right now. I don't know. Add another ship to the fleet now. We're busy looking into some cultist debris over here, of course. Construction complete. Oh, Tritonus has more population now. Give them a city district, I think. 
Let's, so these guys can have clerk jobs. And again, up to 859. Next month I'll be able to Special build the last complete. ship we're gonna need. But our recovery efforts on the cultist wrecks are now done. After sifting through the debris left by the strange cultist warship we destroyed, our scientists believe they may have divined the source of the ships the great disciples have been throwing against us. Fragments from a log mentioned some kind of abandoned alien shipyard discovered by the cultist ship's fleeing soul. They have been using the automated shipyard to reinforce their numbers, and now they are even producing new ships from alien templates found within the station's memory banks. This cannot be allowed to continue. That shipyard must be destroyed. Destroyed? Is that not a bit extreme? Frankly, I would have preferred to just board the shipyard and take possession of it myself. But, apparently, that's not an option. And the shipyard is up to the north a bunch. We have to keep pushing north to discover the available hyperlanes in that direction. So, I'm going to have the science ship go off and do that. We have another science ship. Not currently doing anything. That should be able to take the other surveying missions over here. This science ship can finish the one it's currently doing and then move on. Construction complete. Okay. Before you go anywhere, science ship, have a look at that star for me. Now, you move there. Whatever you do, do not bloody build the mining stations in that system, or that's going to become inaccessible to us due to things that will happen. And we don't want those things to happen, okay? And get that last ship complete. in our fleet now. There's a mining station there. We'll continue to spread out and expand a bunch. Eventually I'll get my fleet large enough to where I can absorb these guys as a vassal. Complete. But that's going to be a while. No doubt. And yes, we are 20 out of 20. Our fleet's at its command limit. I could just build more ships and start a new fleet, but I'm probably going to wait on that, at least for the time being. Special project complete. That K-class star has been studying, studied even. It's basically, it's just the same sort of star around Terra, so no need to read the actual flavor text. It's not anything too important. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Our space tracking arrays on Tritonus have made an alarming discovery. A large asteroid is heading towards the planet on a direct collision course. To impact the surface, the consequences would be disastrous. The asteroid must be destroyed before it's too late. New sit rep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think our spaceport is going to manage to take it down in time. Deploy the fleet. <laughs> 